Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, we are going to be uh, going in depth into the move and slide function, this function that exists uh, inside of every single character body and that actually allows us to uh, move this uh, character. But well, I understand that it can be a little bit tricky to understand how it exactly works, when you would use it, etc. So I'm going to be showing two main examples, for example, in an 8 ways player that basically this one uh, can move wherever you want without any kinds of gravity. And then we've also got a platformer character with a, a platform at the bottom and that basically has gravity and can uh, jump around. We will explain how you are able to create these two examples while we explain everything that has to do with move and slide. This is a fundamental function of Godot and GDScript, so you must understand it. So now that we are going to be starting, in the description down below, you are going to actually be finding uh, this project if you ever want to go deeper into the code. So first of all, I will go to my test scene and uh, what I have over here is a player with the default template that a character body have um, as soon as you create it. So I will go super quickly because it is quite simple. First of all, uh, we have here a couple of constants. Basically, these are values that can never change. That's why they are constants and not variables that can change its values. Um, and they are declared like this. Then in physics process, why physics process? Because we are going to be doing some physics calculations such as adding gravity. So if the player is not on the floor, we basically add a gravity, then we handle the jump, basically if we are pressing the corresponding input action and we are on the floor, if so, we basically jump. And then here this is maybe the tricky uh, place in which you may not understand everything. Basically here we have the direction variable and here it says if direction, we are basically moving and if not direction, basically if we are not moving, we do this. And finally, we call move and slide. So what is happening over here is that this direction can return three values and we're going to see it right away with a print statement. So right now I am not pressing anything and as you can see the value that we get is zero. Now if I press the left arrow, I am getting minus one, okay? If I press the right arrow, I am going to the right. So those are the three values that this direction a variable can return so if direction means if direction is either is basically different to zero okay so if it is for example a one a minus one two three etc in reality if you don't really understand this what you can do here is um if direction is different from zero if it isn't empty okay then do that and as you can see it's going to work uh, in the exact same way and then um, for this other line, basically this is handling the deceleration, okay? The, uh, this basically has the move toward, it has three parameters, from and to, basically it will go from this point to this point at a certain speed. So it will go from the current velocity to zero at the speed that we have defined at the top, okay? Basically this is speed over here. So it's basically handling deceleration. But in reality, if you basically delete this line, it would work quite similarly, okay? At least in this pretty simple example. Um, well, actually, it is not going to work similarly, I'm sorry. It is going to basically continue moving. Um, I am not pressing any key right now, and it's continuously moving to the right. But what I wanted to show you here is that you can, uh, basically, if we are not pressing any key, if the direction is zero, as we saw, we can basically set this to be zero. and with that the, the code is much clearer if you are a beginner and well the functionality is going to be quite similar so basically these lines means uh, if we uh, are moving then okay we have to update this velocity and if we are not moving then we must stop the velocity because if not the player will always continue moving in the direction now uh, and here at the end we have the move and slide function so now let's actually do some uh, tests with this function and for that i will basically delete all this code over here so that we get a brand new script let's say and if we just call the script like this uh, nothing will happen okay move and slide won't do literally anything uh, i will also uh, use here a uh, delta sorry i will underscore it as i am not going to be using it so what we have to understand is that we have a built-in value 
in character body okay and by the way that value is not accessible like over here in the inspector uh, we can only access it in a script and that value is velocity as you can see i am getting like this reference over here to this value and, and i have like no variable having that name and velocity is a vector too so it has both an x and a y value um so we can assign it using basically a vector too and if we assign this velocity to be for example 20 in the x and zero in the y and then we call move and slide what do you think is going to be happening instead indeed it is going to be moving to the right at this constant speed so move and slide let's say that it is actually allowing godot to update the velocity of this character body in fact if we just comment it out and we play again this won't work okay because yes we are setting the velocity but we are not telling godot to actually move the character body and by the way here if you for example give it i know 20 20 it is going to move in a diagonal okay and you can move it to diagonally up so indeed it's all about changing the velocity that also combines like this kind of direction because for example what we could do is okay uh, i want to move to the left okay at a certain speed so for example let's say at a 200 of speed so this will move my unit to that uh, direction okay to the left at this speed and this is in fact what is happening with the default code that we saw because here remember that direction can be zero if not pressing anything um is going to be one if we are pressing right and if it is minus one if we are going to the left so here remember that we only get into this if if this is either one or minus one because if direction is equal to this if it is different from zero so here we will we will see a uh, direction velocity dot x okay um because we only want to move in the x in this case we will be saying okay if we are going to write it will be one times speed which will be a positive value to the right and if it is minus one it would be minus speed and we will go to the left this is something that we will understand even more in our eight ways player so in this case i call this something quite similarly just broken down in more steps so once again here i am getting the axis okay for the corresponding actions so this horizontal direction is the exact same thing that we have over here just that i'm using different uh, input actions that i created myself not only that but i'm doing the exact same thing but for the vertical direction over here and then simply i am taking velocity x and using the horizontal direction and then velocity y and using the vertical direction and then i just call move and slide so as you can see it's not that difficult and actually this can even be made simpler because remember that actually velocity is a vector 2 so we can directly modify the vector 2 instead of firstly the x and then the y the code will be indeed shorter but well a little bit more complicated to understand so let me first of all comment all this out and what we could technically do is just say okay velocity is a vector 2 so let's create it over here then the x is going to be this value over here basically horizontal direction i believe that we can even just uh, keep that one so it's going to be horizontal direction and then also it's going to be vertical direction and then all that we want to multiply it by its speed okay because if we do not multiply it by its speed what's going to happen is that we're going to move like super super a few pixels as you can see i am barely moving i am moving just a little bit as you can see um but well it is like super low the the number of pixels that we are moving so we multiply by speed that is 300 so it is much more and now we do have the exact same player movement and so you can see we have actually shortened a lot of the code and in reality we could even for example cut these lines and paste it over here cut this line and paste it over here okay and then erase this right there okay and there it would work you can even break down the uh, line in two if you want it and well this 
as you can see, would work in the exact same way, okay? This is not the topic of the video, but you can also normalize the vector and then multiply by its speed to actually have a constant movement because if you don't do it like this, what is going to happen is that diagonally you're going to be moving much faster, okay? Uh, but well, that's a topic for another video. So basically, this is how you can create both an 8 ways player movement using move and slide. In literally, with just one or two lines of code, you can set the velocity and then update the movement. And well, with the platform, it's a little bit more complex because you have to uh, add gravity, you have to calculate the jump. And also, the direction here can also be modified a little bit following the code that I created over here and make it similar or more similar and even shorter and simpler. But well, I think that now you, you got the idea of how actually move and slide uh, works in Godot. Remember that you've got the source files in the description down below. And if you want more Godot tutorials, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Bye bye.